All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to take the tooling pattern that I just put out and transfer it onto leather. Uh, this is for belts. So if you're interested in getting it, I'll have the link in the description. And thanks for watching. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you get it downloaded is print it off. All right, so now that you got it printed, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it printed out at the correct size. And that is what I included this line for. So I left that line in there to measure out and it should be one inch. So if we check that, it is one inch. And then another thing that you can check is just make sure that from the outside line of each pattern is an inch and a half. Yeah, so once you have it, once you check that it printed out the right size, then you can get started on putting it on leather. All right, now that we got it printed out, we can go ahead and cut out the pattern that you want to use. And we'll do that by cutting out these this outer border you don't want to cut these inner borders that's just for the tooling so um the way if you wanted to you could just free hand it the other way to get the straightest edge would be to use something like a ruler or in this case i'm using a metal meter stick and you can just line it up with your line Check that out and then we'll just go ahead and cut it off on the other side And there we have the pattern that we'll be using. And then once you get that cut out, you can cut the edges off kind of pretty close to where the, the flower is. And the reason you want to do that is because that's if you have it close, you'll be able to line it up on the paper better. And then same with this side. You can cut it off like a diagonal line there across it. You know, on this side you don't want to get too close. But just enough so you don't have a whole lot hanging off. And then we're done cutting it off and we're ready to get it transferred onto leather. All right, so I got my piece of leather that I'll be tooling it on. Um, obviously, it's not the whole length of a belt, but it'll be the same process. And then I'll I'll show you how to line it up so you can keep the pattern going. But if you really wanted to, you could just set it on here and hold it down while you trace it. But you know the problem with that is if it gets shifted at all, you're not going to be able to um, line it back up exactly where it was. So what I like to do is rip off a little piece of masking tape. And then once I have it on, I can tape it down. And I put that masking tape on there so that's not covering up any of the design so I can still trace it. And then if you want to, you could just leave it there and then you could still fold it up and see if you've missed anything. Or what you could do is tape down on both sides. Um, I'm probably just going to leave it on the one, just so while I'm tracing it out, you can lift it up and make sure you didn't miss any lines without having to take any tape off. So the next step, once you have it tacked down, is you're going to want to get it a little bit wet. So 
You can lift that up. And then just take a sponge. And just get a little bit wet. I'm just using my spray bottle. I've gotten a little bit wet. It is now ready to be transferred. All right, so I've come over to my tooling bench to get it transferred. And the way that you're gonna be doing this is taking something with a pointed end and just tracing over the lines on here. And because you got the leather a little bit wet, it'll leave a little bit of an imprint so you can see it. Um, the way you could do this, there's several ways, but probably the easiest way is to just take a pencil and just just trace over all the lines. So I'll just do that here, be able to show you it. So I just take the pencil, and you're gonna want to press down a little bit harder because the whole point is to make the impression but you don't want to press down too hard that you rip the paper. And even though you taped it down, you're still gonna to wanna to hold it down with your hand to make sure that the paper doesn't slide because it can still move around. There you can see the the indent that it left and as you're tracing it you want to if you're holding it with this hand it's always best to pull away from you because if you push towards sometimes the paper will catch and it'll kind of shift so it's kind of easiest to just move away from you so I'll probably work from here and just work my way backwards throughout the design so get going on that and if the paper does start to like bunch up, you just wanna stop, get it flattened out, and then you can keep going. So here you can see the first little section down of that. <clears throat> and if you ever pick up the paper to check and it's not leaving very good impressions, then you can you you just gotta get it wet again. That just means the leather is too dry. There, I got the whole pattern. So now, if this were the length of a whole belt, what I would do is you'd find that stem there. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but there's that little stem right there. And you would just take the flower and just line it up with that stem. And then you tape it down right there and then continue it and just keep going that the length of the belt. And then the way that you wanna end the belt is once you get close to the tip, you wanna end it so you line up the flower with the stem and then just trace the flower. And then that's how you'd end the pattern. So you wanna start the pattern and you wanna end the pattern with the flower. And then when you're tracing it out, you do not want to trace these border lines. I mean, you could if you really wanted to. But the easiest way to do it would be with a wing divider. And you'd set the wing divider for a quarter inch. And then 
you can just make that line with the wing divider instead of trying to draw it with your hand. So there we got the pattern on there. Um, that's all I'm going to be doing in this video. Uh, watch out for the next video because that will be the one where I actually walk through how to tool it. So yeah, thanks for watching and if you'd like to pick up the pattern, it'll be in the link in my description.